that okay? Um, welcome, everybody. It's really nice to see you all here in Dunoonborough Hall, in our beautiful gallery, our building. Um, and if some of you might be local, I know some of you have come from further afield, but you know, it's really nice to see you all here today. Um, we are so delighted to be hosting a Joan Eardley exhibition. Um, it's just been, I think it's long been one of our dreams in the Borough Hall. Um, and it, this forms part of the year of the 100th anniversary celebrating Joan Eardley's birth. The works here, um, I don't, you might know if you're a Joan Eardley aficionado, you might know some of her works. They're all on loan from different institutions, so sadly we don't actually own any. <laughs> But um, they have come from, this one here has come from West and Bartonshire Council. Um, the one at the end comes from Argyll and Butte Council. And the rest are all from the Lily Art Gallery as part of um, East and Bartonshire Council. So we are just really thanks so much to everyone for trusting us with these precious works. <laughs> um, we have been delighted to work with two young people, Amy and Jack, who have been our exhibition assistants. They have researched John Eardley's work over the past couple of months. And all of the exhibition panels and the information panels have been written by them as well. So you can mingle and meet with them later as well. Um, so, sorry. Um, yeah, we're also really hugely <laughs> delighted to welcome Jan Patience here. Jan Patience is an arts journalist and she writes a column for the Sunday Post. Um, we were so delighted, we thought, we'll just send her an email and ask her. And she said yes, so we're so delighted. Um, we've got, of course, the stars of the show are Anne and Pat Sampson, who um, I just met a few weeks ago. They have amazing stories to tell of Joan Eardley. Amazing stories. What memories. I think you're really in for a treat listening to them. Um, and also, at the end of this, you'll be able to chat to them as well. Um, so it's, this has really been a massive partnership project. We've worked really closely with um, our Gallen Butte Council, with Madeline Conn, who's worked with Jack and Amy, and with Charts, who's the Culture, Heritage and Arts Assembly, and we've got Muriel here from Charts as well. So it's just been, just been all hands on deck. I don't think there's a single person in this building that hasn't been involved in getting this together. So. And also, I just want to thank the Borough Hall team for just pulling, everyone's been involved. And of course, we've got the amazing Rob here, who's behind the camera as our amazing volunteer operating the live stream. Um, so the running order today is I'm going to hand you over to my colleagues who will just say a few words each. And then we'll have an in-conversation with Jan and Anne and Pat. That will run for around 20 minutes. And at the end of that, there'll be a Q&A. So if you think of any questions during the conversation, just keep them in your head and we'll ask the questions afterwards. Okay, so I'm gonna hand over to Madeline Conn, who's the cultural coordinator for Agilene Butte Council. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Um, we were approached at the beginning of last year by the Scottish Women in the Arts Research Network um, who are doing this huge, um, big celebration of Joan Eardley um, because of this painting that we have in our collection, um, Little Girl with a Piece, which was painted in 1959, but it was bought um, for the collection the year after Joan Eardley died. Um, we are a schools collection, so the Argyle Art Collection is in all the high schools in Argyle and Butte, and it travels around. Um, and the idea behind it was that um, art was not accessible to young people in Argyll and Butte. So um, Naomi, Naomi Mitchison and um, Jim Tyre went around collecting. They never spent more than £100 on a piece of work. Um, Joan Eardley's work is such an incredible piece and we really wanted to celebrate it. And our partnership with Dunoonborough Hall has been kind of ongoing since, well, for many years. Um, the two young people who we worked with, who are Jack and Amy, who are sitting just there, um, did incredible research as part of this project that um, Muriel's going to talk about in a second. But it seems really appropriate that um, young people are interpreting these works today. And um, Lucy was just telling me that young people from Danoon, Bur uh, Danoon High School came today to look at the paintings. So it's just this idea that we can share this work with people, with the public, but also with young people. Um, so I'd just like to thank Jack and Amy again for their brilliant research and the brilliant interpretation and 
also thank you to Danoomborough Hall, who've been absolutely outstanding. Thank you. Hi, hi. So I'm Muriel, and it's a privilege for me to be here today representing Church. Church is a cultural heritage arts membership network for a Guile in the Isles. It was set up in 2019 to create a sustainable future for the culture, heritage and arts sector in Argyll. So since the outset, Zanunbara Hall has been engaged in regional development and entered into many projects and we're proud to have Jenny Hunter on this chart steering group to help with the evolution of the organisation. I'm especially delighted to be here because I'm very new to the organisation and representing the Heritage Horizons project at the aim of which uh, Jack and Amy are two placement holders here is to enable young people to engage with uh, museums and heritage by way of placements, gaining skills and qualifications within the arts and heritage sector. So that's run in conjunction with Argyll and Butte Museums and Heritage Forum and it's, the whole thing's been funded by Scottish Power Foundation. So our two placement holders here for the Joan Erdley um, have just shown an amazing, outstanding commitment and uh, both Jenny and Madeline have been so encouraging and supportive and also thanks to Colm and uh, Jules who've generously shared their knowledge and experience to allow the um, a broad exhibition experience possible um, yeah, and all of that with the collaboration of their Gale Collection and Dunoon Borough Hall so we at Church want, just want to thank and thank you all for showing your interest. Thank you. IRL um, <laughs> and we're, but I've never been to Dunoon Borough Hall before and it's absolutely beautiful. So um, my name is Jan Patience and uh, it's my absolute pleasure to be here tonight with Pat uh, McLean, Lee Sampson and Anne McKenna, Lee Sampson. Now they, they probably need no introduction to anyone as they were a long time ago, <laughs> 60 years ago. Uh, when they were painted by Joan Erdley and uh, they, they lived in Townhead and they were the, one of a two of a very big family 12 children that they lived nearby uh, Joan's studio so we're just going to have quite a relaxed chat tonight about uh, what it was like to be painted by Joan Erdley because uh, there, there aren't many people who can say that uh, and there's, there's not many people actually now who can say they knew Joan Erdley either. So I'm just really interested to, to, to know what it was like to, 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 you know, to take you back in time, time if I can. can. Um, maybe, maybe starting, starting with you, Pat, Pat because, because uh, well, you're both in mm. this painting mm. here, which mm. I hadn't mm. seen before, mm. and it's mm. called Skipping, mm. isn't it? Mm. Mm. So, mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Did you, did you just see it tonight? No, that's the first time I've saw it tonight. Um, actually, John, I, um, I don't even remember seeing it in Edinburgh, but... I don't no, you don't either. Uh, I, I think I did see it in Edinburgh. Uh -huh. um, so and it, it was on the walls of Oban High School, I believe. I don't know. Um, we just went to Edinburgh at an exhibition and I seen it hanging on the wall and I was showing my grandkids that. Is that right? Um, and like so, t tell us, who's who then? Who? who, who that's, I think that's Mary at the back there. So on the far left uh -huh. is Mary, your big sister. Aye, big sister. Mm -hmm. And that's Andrew, the big brother. Right. And that's me. Okay. And that's Pat. And that's David, who's now passed away. Yeah. yeah. David was the baby. Aye, well, well, David is originally the youngest. Um, Robert was the youngest. Right. But David was only 28 when he was killed in a car crash. Gosh. So. Uh -huh. It must be so funny to. I mean, how does it feel to see you as a as, as we girls, Billy? You know. <laughs> um, I, I actually, I don't know. I would go to the night for that. I appreciate it because Joan always put the news face down when I turn up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and I believe that she did say to someone after you got your squint fixed that you weren't of interest to her anymore. Because <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you were you were interesting to paint uh, and draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, do you think that Anne? It was, you know, what did she see in, in you as a family uh, and, and you know the other kids? I think because there was twelve of us, um, she used to paint buildings in the street, mm -hmm. and my older brother Andrew, who was a favourite. <laughs> Um, he met her and, and asked, asked, could you paint him? him? So, so he was disappearing after school. school, my mum thought he was going to my grand's. And then one day he came in and she went, you're not going to do it to your grand's every day for school. We went, no, I've got to a woman's house. <laughs> so <laughs> my mum <laughs> being that curious, she went, I'm taking you down. So she's dragged him away down, met Joan, and she says, I've got 12 things if you want to paint anything. Um, <laughs> and, and did she did she give you like coins and stuff to she used to give thrums right a thrum okay. in the bit you used to call it a wooden thrum in the bit and you'd get a penny drink a heap in the drink and a penny tree out the shop for that a penny tree Aye. Um, and I mean Joan was a big part of our family yeah. if you know what I mean when my mum got to know her, she used to come up to the house and she said, right, I'm taking that one, that one, and that one. Um, but many a time you got slapped in the heat off her, but you didn't yeah. sit still for her. So, so um, what was she like then as a person? Like, what are your memories? I was terrified of it first. Were you? Because she was just like a big man to me. It was the black duffel coat. The big, the big black, black pole and it, corduroy trousers, <laughs> short, short <laughs> hair, and, and I said to Mama, I'm not going to <laughs> and, and, and she went, it's, it's a woman, woman, it's not a man, and, and you're, you're going. going. <laughs> Mama I just wanted to ready to have his. Yeah, yeah. That. well, it was quite a small <laughs> house, so it was like you lived in. So 12 kids, your mum and dad. Right. Um, so it was quite, um, but we just love it. Can you just imagine Joan sitting in this? Yeah. Painting it the way. And that's how it's done. And that's just in a big palette. And just keep doing this all the time. Yeah. But we've done this happening. I just don't know how to do it. Honestly, we used to choose one of the screaming and shouting balls. I don't know how to do it. I would have to do it more than this. I would have to do it more than this. I would have to do it more than this. I would have to do it more than this. I would have to do it more than this. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, we just go to her house to get a heat. Do you know what I mean? uh -huh. Because she just black. It was like a fire. She used to burn wood in. And it was great. She was sitting at that fire during yeah, the winter. Yeah. Because back then, it was poverty. And sometimes my mum couldn't afford coal. Uh -huh. um, and and you just have to take furniture up. Well, I was going to say, you brought the furniture up. Right. And sometimes to you took drawings back Aye. home and they were in the fire. Mum had tossed them in the fire. So I mean, they, they were, when you think now, you know, they're on nah. the walls. Maybe we just used to them and just let the drawings and maybe put Yeah, yeah. And, and what was the studio like? So it, it was a kind of rickety Aye, it was, building, wasn't it? You, you went in the close and it was like a spiral staircase. You used to run up. In fact, sometimes we had to shout and Joan come down and get us because there was a rag stored in the stair and we called the man Scabby then for some reason. But that was his name. And we used to shout, Joan! Well, we weren't allowed to call her Joan, it was Auntie Joan. And, and we used to shout, Auntie Joan! Scabby then on the us up the stair. And she used to have to come down and get us. But, um, but and was that you called her Auntie Joan be, just because in these days you, you, I remember it was Mrs. Right. So, and so, so and so or Miss So and so. So, was, so that was a, a, a sign of affection because at that stage she was quite a close well, she was, friend. You know. She was. Um, she was very close to her family. Just um, 
if my mum wanted a bit of peace. She said, we just didn't join us. Um, and it was, I don't know, when she used to scare me in Hida, I used to get a few scares from Hida for right enough, because I wouldn't sit still for her. And I said, you nearly finished? Soon, soon, probably about an hour later. She would say, right, you can go. But, and what kept you going? Was it just, you know, like, did you get a piece Getting a piece in cheese and treacle, which makes me sick now. Yeah. Um, and my throat in the bit. Yeah, throat in the bit. Nah. So, it was quite crafty. And I've always wondered how, you know, you're all in the bright clothes and everything. Was that your clothes or was it shared? Joan used to ask us to wear the same clothes like if she was painting us, and uh, I think she went to second hand shops and got his clothes so she could keep them in her studio. And if she wanted us to wear them, I had to wear these clothes, she could go to second hand shops. But it was a matter of the time, first up, best dress. Nice. I mean, I used to go at a TV show to get cleaner. Uh, where are you in the family structure then? You, you, you're, you're the older by a year. Uh, you're uh -huh. So where do you fit in? How many above you? Um, oh, there's, right, there's 12 years, right? So I'm the... Robert, you're the fifth youngest. Robert, George, David, and then the younger. Fifth. Right. I was the youngest lassie. Right. Which I was always getting a doing after my mother. <laughs> 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 when, when you went in the studio, it was like all the little boys was all drawings and uh -huh. paintings and but the smell of paint when you went in, smell. Mm -hmm. I used to love, love the smell of paint, but you hate it. Is that right? So um, the smell of li linseed oil. Aye, there was and, uh -huh. a lot of different <laughs> smells in the studio, uh -huh. um, and I always remember this bed. It was a and brought iron, iron beds, just, just a wee single, single thing. thing. And she, she would say, say you want to go to sleep? Go to sleep in there. Sometimes we went good and go to sleep. Because it was warm. Aye. 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 And were there other adults around? Or no. 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 There was no. Angus. Angus was there at times. So this is Angus Aye. Neil, who Angus was, Neil. He Angus was there at times. Right. He was a friend of hers from Aye. hospital field That's right. Was that right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think when Angus was there, he would kind of try to draw as well during his day. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he ever made it as an artist. Uh, I have seen that, some aye. some of his oh, work, done work in their quite a few things, yeah. aye. but similar to John. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, what? How has it impacted on your life being drawn and painted by John Erdley? You know, like, you know are you recognised like aye. when you go to aye. exhibitions? Aye. 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 Um, yeah, I mean, we were through Edinburgh one day and we got lost in the same two, two guys. Can you tell us where the train station is? He said, I could do them around the corner. And then the next minute they were running after us. And I said, so they are running after us, what have we done wrong? <laughs> and it was um, two guys with art galleries. And he says, I know this is a long shot, but you two Samson's. And I mean, everywhere you go, you're always recognised. Yeah. I mean, our pastor, your church says, we just painted with John Erdley. He says, I've seen her paintings, he goes, and then up in Iona, when we used to go up to Iona, it was the lady up there, she was um, a right fan of John Erdley's, and she said to me one day, something about Samson, she said, you something about Samson, it was painted by John Erdley. Is that right, yeah. I think I like it at times because it keeps the name recognised, it keeps her name recognised. I mean, I don't think people will ever forget her, um, but to me, it's, I like it because it, we get her recognised yeah. for what she did. Mm -hmm. and, and she was so young when she died. No, I mean, died. You, you, do you have memories of when she died? Yeah. We went to her door one day and um, she told us, go away and don't come back. Right. So we were quite upset about that because she'd never done this before. What, what age were you then? I was about seven, part of the eight. Uh -huh. um, and we went up to my magazine, and she went, it's up east. 
I said, Joe, you tell us not to come back near the door. So my mum said, no, this isn't right. So she went away down and she came back and she said, Joan's going back to where she came from and she'll not be coming back. Uh, they never, she never told me she'd cancer that then because I well, was still young. Um, but as we were growing up, she explained it. She went, Joan didn't want us to know she had, she was going to die. She just told me to tell you she was going back to her own place. But Andrew had went up to visit her when she was in the hospital up there. Um, this is what a changed woman. Mm -hmm. He's seen a big, big change in her. Mm -hmm. I said, but she's still not a big man. He went, no, she was not really uh, at the end up. Mm -hmm. So he, he went up to Aberdeen to see did he? he went up there. Mm -hmm. And I think he went up when she died, when they were taking her away. Uh -huh. He went up um, because he says we were standing stand on the train platform. Mm -hmm. um, when she was going to be, right. it says, and it was the most horrible experience out. Mm -hmm. It says, I'm actually sorry, I went up. Right. It says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, he, he seems to have been, as you say, he was like very close to her and she took very close. him up to Catalan. No, nah, you know, and they. That was the only holiday he had, uh -huh. was going up to Catalan with Joan. Yeah. And then when he joined the army, Joan was, she was quite upset. Right. Because he was going to be. And uh, she said she didn't join the army, Andrew. Uh -huh. <laughs> join. But he wanted to do that. Uh -huh. But uh, when he was coming back, he would go and visit her. And then Mama had um, wrote to him and says that Joan had cancer and she was going to die. Right. He came back home, I think he was back home a few weeks when he went up to Just, yeah. where she was. Gosh. Well, um, and um, how, how are we doing for time? Because I'm thinking here that we're we'll talking for 20 minutes, but it's very interesting, I think. But uh, yeah, are we okay? Yeah, keep, keep going. going. Yeah. Yes. Um, I mean, do, do you do you ever sort of think that there's a bit of a divide? Do you know still that this Joan's been sort of taken into the art world? You know, after she died. You know, that's. I think. It's horrible because, because she had nothing when we knew her. Yeah. She, she didn't have money or things like that, mm -hmm. even though she used my thrums. Uh -huh. She didn't have money. And I always remember her saying to Mama she wanted to have a Christmas party for the wings. Right. And Mama says, you can't afford it, Joan. She went, I'll sell one of my paintings. And she sold it for £50. Just to this back then, that was a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Um, knew the paint was worth thousands. Mm -hmm. That she sold for fifty pound. Yeah, I mean that's the thing, isn't it? Now these put these drawings that you put, the, you know, paper airplanes, or you put in the fire. No. You know, they sell. No, no, no. Uh, oh, so don't bring that up again here. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. I think it knew. I just said the bottle of that Uh huh. But yeah, you would never have you you weren't to know no, no. <laughs> at the time. And what about the rest of your family then? Do they kind of do they feel the same way as you? Do they kind of recognise that? Okay, I, I don't think they as much recognised. I think you two were very recognisable. I mean, obviously. There was the red hair yeah, hat, and uh, well, you know, I mean, I had a, a drawing on my wall of you. <laughs> it's like a turn up. Yeah, I mean. My wee girl's got red hair, my big girl now, but she has red hair and I had that little uh, you know, postcard mm. on my wall of you for so long and it, you know, it's funny now, here we are. Mm. 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 Is that right? So your grandkids... My grandson doesn't like it when if maybe a big art teacher comes into the school and the same mm. for him. They go, I don't know nothing about it, I don't like it. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, so your, your grandkids are now learning no, about Joan no, no, in no. art, because you know, she's on the curriculum in Scotland, mm -hmm. uh, and, and then they get to look at you in the books or whatever. And, yeah, I mean, the day I, I ask <laughs> questions about it, how did you get to know her and right. all that? They did ask questions. Um, 
But even when we were at secondary school, and the teacher's just the same for us and say, oh, such and such is coming and you need to come and talk to them. I said, we don't need. I said, because they're horrible pains. So, you, do, you, you were saying earlier, you're not that keen on... I, I, the, I like the, the landscape. I think it's just the way she painted us. I felt as if we were tramps. We <laughs> <laughs> were back then. We didn't get there. Nothing on the notice. No. And it seems that it's, it's, uh, one of the councils that then preached in Glasgow and showed those paintings because they made Glasgow look forward. That's why Glasgow was doing it. Yes. I mean, we used to get. My dad was. Uh, we told him to use. My dad used to cut back clothes at them. Put them in my shoes. Yeah. To go to school. So we never had yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, what she did was she seemed to capture the like the last days of Townhead Aye. in particular. You know, when it was just about to get raised to the ground, That's right. and the you know the motorway was to put in and so on. Still cut up there to this day, yeah. and just see what John Studio was, and it's uh -huh. very very emotional. Yeah, I mean, if anyone sort of would go on a walk around Townhead, which I've done, you wouldn't know it, but you know, like I think if anyone knows the town, um, Rotten Row. Maternity mm -hmm. hostel, which the facade of, of, is still there. If you walk along that street, mm -hmm. which is all Strathclyde University, no, no. your house was in there, is that right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then the studio was a wee walk down. Ah, St James's Road. St James's Road, yeah. which you can go and try and find it, but it's very, it's difficult. You can see, you, I mean, you can still recognise St James's Road. You can still, still recognise where a studio was because there's an old school right across the road from it and it's still there. Yeah. So no, that's how you can tell where the studio, studio was. Mm -hmm. um, it's mad because, because it was just... Very long, long neck, so we have like, 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 I don't know. Do you want to sometimes play people ways and... <laughs> so I think she she joined you skipping. You said ah, yeah. like in the streets. Yeah. I think so. Uh -huh. So yeah, I mean, is there anyone? I'm sure everyone's got lots of questions for Anne and Pat. So if you want to just uh, put your hands up and and we can ask them. I'm sure, you're bursting with questions. <laughs> Yeah. I love it there. I did and my dad and my kids and my two daughters out of the city and I love it. But then I just, I think we just thought the carrots, right there. Yeah. I said, I don't have to be that. No, I said, I don't have to be that. Well, my dad, he was, he came to be stunning, so I don't know through the generations. Mm -hmm. Anyone like to ask a question? Yes? Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> so, so, oh, you, so your mum got painted as a, as a wee girl. She's looking very embarrassed there. <laughs> Did you ever meet any other kids that were involved? No, we didn't actually, but they knew that she'd painted uh, kids for Port Glasgow mm -hmm. and things like that. The wee grammar, the wee crowd, and the bits of the wee painted that. Um, but we yeah. never met. <coughs> no, we never met. She didn't have other people in the studio when we were in. Mm -hmm. There was too many us <laughs> going in the studio. <laughs> Well, the, um, I was lucky enough a few years ago to, to go to Catalina with uh, Anne and Pat and a few of the, the people from the National Galleries and uh, there was a chap there called Ron Stephen who uh, he, he grew up in Catalina, he was a wee boy, similar ages to you, but she never painted anyone in the village. It was only in Townhead that she painted people, but uh, there was the odd figure that Crept into the Catalan, but not many. But it was quite yeah. strange getting up the Catalan as well because when we entered the wee cottage and I'm like, I wonder if Joan stood here. Oh, yeah. I just actually, it's yeah. a bit of a stain. I'm thinking, I wonder if she stood here. 
And I'd walk through the bed and go, oh, and it's just good to hear you. Yeah, it was emotional. It was an emotional day, I remember. Aye, you were both yeah. feeling it. Yeah. So, anyone else want to ask a question? Oh. Um, I was just going to ask, this is working. Anyway, um, you know, you said you came from a really poor background, but to what extent do you think that knowing Joan has created opportunities for you that you might not have had throughout your life? Um, well, then again, we get a piece, it's the same, we get a piece off Joan, because sometimes <laughs> Mama had no money to even buy bread. Um, so we go up and say, come on, we've got to get a piece off Joan. Mm. Um, so that was... Did it make you have an interest in art? No. That <laughs> <laughs> was a no. <laughs> we, we only went for the thrums. <laughs> Look. No, I don't think I've never ever seen a cooker. No, I don't think I've had a cooker. She was always a piece of cheeko, she had a table and the cheeko was always sitting there. Oh, I think it will. Aye. and Trico in the same piece. Because <laughs> you didn't know where your next piece was coming. Yeah, I think if the if you're going to speak, I think we have to for the the um, the live stream. We have to have people with the microphone. So uh, yeah, so oh, we've got over here a question. Uh, did she ever paint your mum? No. 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 She was too busy hiding things all. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, oh, she, she painted, painted Angus, Angus yeah. you mentioned earlier on, but I'm trying to think if there was other adults. There's some life drawings that she did, I think. Was I think I knew it was Angus. I, 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 knew was Angus. I, I know the one of Angus standing at this um, fire. Mm -hmm. With the mantelpiece and he's got his arm on the mantelpiece. Um, I don't think we remember that John painting. No, I don't remember her painting it, but I've seen the, the painting there. Mm -hmm. um, and the one of Angus in the nude. <laughs> oh, yes, that was controversial, I think. Yes, yes, that was. That was in the Daily Express. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. He, had a sad, he, had a, he had a sad life, actually, yeah, yeah I think so. Did, I did feel it at school. Did, oh, Jenny, but um, did, uh, so did Joan have any favourites amongst you all? Andrew. Definitely, <laughs> yeah. Aye. And I didn't have any favourites until I got my squint sorted. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Andrew there, and the, but there, there's, he was painted a lot, I mean, there's... Uh, you know, Andrew with a comic is a very well-known painting. Mm, I've got a it? pair of wellies and a pair of shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> he would have that kind of welly, uh, welly welt on his legs like everyone had. <laughs> Jill? No? You're, you're good with the questions. Sorry to ask another question. This will be my last. I just wondered, so you, like, you described her physically, but what was she actually like as a person? Like, did she have a good sense of humour? or how, what, how would you describe her? She was a... She was a great person. She was a good person. Um, but she was interested. She had a model. To, aye. Well, not so much model, but she had this certain painting. I think that was her main thing, just to paint. Aye. Um, but, uh, she did she, did she, she laugh like, a lot? Or, no. You know, no. Aye, I think she did. No. Oh. Aye, I don't think, aye, I think she did. Uh -huh. She would laugh at me when she just me need anyway. No, I don't think she was. She was quite serious looking, I thought. I mean, she was painting, she was serious looking. Uh, but other times when you met her out in the street, you would say she was a happy person. Right. Yeah. And she, I mean, she, she had the studio in Townhead, but she would go off to... Yeah. Well, Bear's Den, she lived there, or Catalan, she would go off to... And she also had a studio in Montreux Street, but we didn't know that one. We didn't uh -huh. remember that one. But that was two studios she had there. Now, Amy, who's... One of the young people who worked on the, the exhibition. Hi. Um, you've described how Joan kind of stuck out because she was quite, you know, dressed in like corduroy. Manish, manish looking. Very mm -hmm. Yeah, quite manly looking. Mm -hmm. Do you think like she stuck out in the area of Glasgow? I think so. I would think so. I. 
Yeah. Did that draw you to her? Is that what? Did, she, did, did that draw, draw you to her? Were you fascinated by her? Um, I was kind of scared there. Mm. Uh, it didn't bother me one way or another, but you were kind of scared mm. there because you were like, oh, I'm not going with him. <laughs> and, well, I, well, I, it's a woman, it's a woman scared, but she eventually went anyway. And I think what had me done good buck teeth, but she quite <laughs> dominant <laughs> teeth. And then we call her Bob Keith Bungle Basher. They used to say you then to jump into a horse. Half a horse. And maybe that's what she liked about you then as well. That was different. She would always say to me, did you know come here every day? Because my head was always sticking out somewhere. Oh, we can see. Um, I mean, I, sp I suppose maybe what you're saying as well that you know she, Joan was gay and I, I need her when it was not. Uh, it was it never recognised. It wasn't recognised no. or discussed, so no, no. it was maybe quite unusual to, for you as we we girls. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. But she was not. No. Yeah. But um, we never probably seen it any different. But. Uh -huh. do, you do you think you were almost like a kind of wee? Crazy surrogate family for her, you know. I think she so. that. Could about, be nice. uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. She just, you were at a distance. Uh, she was uh, able to keep uh, you at a distance, uh, but you know, she had the relationship, particularly with Andrew. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. Was, um, he was a favourite. He <laughs> tell you a few stories. Good few stories. Well, we need to get an we need to do part two and get Andrew up then uh, yeah. for sure. But he get me the nuts. For getting painted, he gets a hammer, he would get crumbs. Aye. That's an exclusive. Yeah. Andrew got paid more than Anne and Pat. That's terrible. Eh, uh, me again. Yes. Um, what about the other kids in the street, like, from other families? Were they like, eh, uh, oh, we want to go to the painter's house because we'll get a jam piece or whatever? People in the street, they're only sure of that. It's just because we get painted in a studio. So we were quite privileged. Yeah. Mm. Do you think they were jealous? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I'm getting jealous of my own talent. I don't care. It's kind of sticky out to you. No, it is definitely. <laughs> Anyway, I think we're probably uh, running towards the half hour here. So uh, we're probably, unless anyone's got a burning question for Anne or Pat. Oh, one, one question. And this will be the last one, I think. If you could speak to Joan right now, what would you say? Is there a question you'd want answered? I'd just say, no, because why did you describe me like that? Because the old teachers have never done that and we've gone like that. I think my brother, he was quite a wild man, so he didn't like um, you, you just met. Because he broke into a studio. Which brother was that? Ian. Ian, right. You never ever painted him. I said, what did you ever do that for? Just to get heat. Just to get Brilliant. OK, well, listen, thank you so much, Anne and Pat. That's been absolutely delightful. Uh, it's really it's a privilege to be here and to hear you chat. And I think now, uh, Jules, would you like to to say a few words. Uh, I feel like I'm an Andrews and I, this, <laughs> this is my life. But um, just like to thank you both for coming to the Borough Hall and taking part in this, this, this evening. And just handing you off a wee memento to take back with you. Okay. Of, uh, <laughs> oh. uh, this whole memory. So thank you both once thank again for much. being here. And and yeah, thank, thank you so you much. Been, I think if everyone could just sort of, uh, yeah, give Anne and Pat a round of applause. That would be great. Pat's <laughs> I know. <laughs> it is beautiful. Nah, it's lovely. This is the one you were talking about. No. Mm -hmm. oh. uh -huh. yeah. So, do you want to hold it up and. Yeah. No, I'll put it up in this way. <laughs> uh, that's. Uh, 
me behavior. That's me. That's Pat. That's Magda. That's Robert. And that's David. David was the one that was killed in the car crash. I was stuck. Did, did your mum have red hair? No. I, I think they were all steps. This is. My mum my just died five years ago at 94. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you. That was you. Yeah, because everybody recognizes me. Oh,